guys, just another uh, quick video um, today. Uh, it's about time capsule this time. Um, basically, I'm making this video because um, when I was going to buy time capsule, you know, I go to YouTube as my kind of first part of call for anything, you know, reviews and things like that. And there wasn't really anything about time capsule that was like what I wanted to see. There was loads of unboxings. There was loads of, um, you know, kind of just like light reviews not with the product and the thing that I was most interested in when I got time capture was the USB port on the back because I wanted to use it as you know a wireless kind of hub to put things into particularly a printer so anyway I just wanted to kind of put this video up um, just so uh, people you know will be able to search YouTube and be able to see this but basically okay anyway I got the 500 gigabyte Apple time capsule and um, I have it hooked up to my modem which is here and the ethernet cable just goes up and around here and uh, it comes into the back of time capsule now I hopefully this will turn around for me okay here we go now you can see at the back we have the power cord the USB hub and the ethernet cable going in and also another ethernet cable going out that's for my 360 which um, you've seen before um, the, you know, this all works perfectly for me. Now, I know I'll probably get loads of, you know, comments about saying that, oh, people, it didn't work for me, the software didn't work, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I'm sure that it happens all the time, but I was lucky and it didn't happen to me. So, hopefully you're lucky too if you're going to buy Time Capsule. Um, as you can see, it's, um, it's just pretty straightforward. I put the USB uh, cable in here for the hub, which is below, which is the Belkin hub, uh, which is really for the Mac Mini. But uh, it's I use it for the time capsule. I know I've only got one thing in it at the moment, um, but you know you can put loads of things in there anyway. <coughs> um, so it just sits here all the time. It turns itself on uh, every I don't know. I say about 30, 40 minutes, and you can just hear it spinning quietly. You know, you'll hear it start up a small electronic kind of startup sound and uh, then you know it's working. On the screen it'll have the little uh, time machine going in a circle and you know it's working. It takes about 10-15 minutes for it to finish and that's it. You know it's backed up, everything's done. The um, What I haven't done with this, which is the reason I bought this, the MyBook uh, Studio Edition 500GB, is use it as external uh, hard drive. I don't, I never seen anywhere it said you could do that. Um, maybe you can, I'm sure lots of people probably have maybe partitioned it or something. But I figured, you know, I didn't want to mess around with it too much, so I bought that instead. But look into it more if you want, because I think you probably can do it um, to make it as an external, you know, wireless hard drive for movies and music and that kind of thing. Um, with the USB port and the print facility, I did originally hook up my 7220 HP printer, uh, which I did a review on last week, uh, to this via the USB port, and, you know, it worked perfectly. Uh, what... Well, the printing function worked perfectly. What didn't work were any of the, um, you know, f services around it, such as the scanning, uh, fax, all that kind of thing. That didn't work. What did work was a basic print function. So I could send a document from, you know, office or, you know, pages, and it would print straight on to this here. It come out fine. But, you know, I figured I might as well try to Wi-Fi, the HP Zone Wi-Fi stuff, and that worked even better. So I've bypassed the time capsule which I didn't think I would do but I did it in the end so but it did work so if you have a more basic printer without Wi-Fi functionality and all you want to do is print this is it'll work it worked for me so it should work for you there's no reason I have an iMac uh, 2.4 gigahertz um, you know 20 inch and if you've got one of them or anything similar it should work no problem um, So that's pretty much it today <clears throat> if you've got any questions on time capsule ask me and I'll reply because I had lots of questions when I was going to buy it. I jumped in anyway in the end because I couldn't really find a proper review on YouTube. Hopefully this goes a little bit way to kind of closing that gap. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, just throw up any comments or any questions you have and I'll answer them. Thanks. Oh, just another quick update. Um, I got this new desk the other day. Uh, I got it in Argos for €21 Euro and um, yeah, so I just changed the setup a little bit. Uh, but I think it's great. If you're looking for a desk that's cheap, it's uh, 50 by 50. So it's 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters square. And I think it's 45 high. If you're looking for a desk that's cheap, easy to put together, and looks great, uh, I'd go for this. 
Um, I really like it. You know, it's just a desk, so I'm not going to say too much about it. So I've got the... Oh, I've got an unboxing coming next week, hopefully. When it should come in the uh, the the post. I've got the Logitech Harmony uh, Xbox 360 Universal Remote Control to replace all of these, hopefully. So I'll uh, show you that when I get that. And also this lamp. I think it's quite a nice lamp. I got it. And uh, in Argos for the table as well. And yeah, it gives light. Energy saving, gotta have that. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think that was 11 euro for two. And um, yeah, definitely go for that if you're looking for a lamp. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.